Hi, welcome to the Digital Yacht How To video series. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at interfacing on the Smart Attract 2014 navigation software. So let's go into the Smart Attract by double clicking on the desktop icon. Now, because we've not set up any interfacing on this, it's actually saying that there's no NMEA device connected. So let's just OK that and then just accept the Navionics chart disclaimer. Uh, now, to set up configuration uh, of the NMEA ports on Smart Attract, you just need to click on this round uh, button in the top left hand corner and then select configuration. Now, I'm going to cover NMEA 2000 in a separate video, uh, so today we're just going to be looking at NMEA 183 interfacing, which is still the most common method of interfacing with a computer. Um, so let's go to uh, NMEA 1. Basically, Smart Attract has two NMEA sources that it can read from at the same time, um, and it refers to those as NMEA 1 and NMEA 2. Uh, let's just click there. Um, so by default, NMEA 1 is set up as a GPS. Uh, on COM port 2. Um, I'm going to just, uh, my my GPS is actually on COM port 9 I think, so I'm just going to select that. Uh, it shows it's being available and that there is a, a GPS on there, so I'm going to connect to that. Um, you can select the standard uh, NMEA 4800 which most GPS's output, but you can also select other uh, board rates, but we're just going to use the 4800 board rate for this GPS. Need to make sure here that uh, this is the primary position fixer, so you can actually have two GPS's connected, one on NMEA1 and one on NMEA2, and it will take the position from the primary one unless the position is invalid, in which case it will actually take it from NMEA2. So we're going to select that. Uh, now it's going to say that the port has changed and that we need to uh, restart the program so we'll just go OK to that. Before I restart the program notice here it's in dead reckoning mode which means that there's no GPS connected um, and I'm going to close that and then start it again and now we should see uh, accept and now it's saying position OK and even though we're on the fairly rough world map you can see that the position has gone to a, a magenta circle there um, and that's actually where I am f filming this video at the moment. So GPS is coming in OK, getting course speed over the ground there. Uh, so that's how you'd set up a, a typical um, a smart track installation with just a GPS. Now I'm going to show you also how to set it up with AIS. So let's go back into the configuration and this time I'm going to select NMEA2 <clears throat> just wait for it to check all the ports and it should now come up, there we go, with the uh, thing. So I'm going to say that it's got, I've actually got one of our AIT 2000s connected so that is actually a, a transponder. Um, I'm going to select the COM port which is COM port 7 in this particular case. If you've got, uh, if you're not sure what COM port um, Windows has allocated to your enemy equipment. I'll show you in a minute how to, to find that. But I'm just going to select that to COM7. Now AIS works at the high speed 38,400 board rate. Um, so uh, make sure that you've got that selected. Um, and also uh, as we mentioned previously we can have because the transponder's got its own GPS we can have that as a secondary GPS position which will be quite a good thing to, to have so if the main GPS uh, stopped getting a position then it would take its GPS position from the, the transponder so I'm going to hit OK and again because we've made a change to the ports we need to restart the uh, program so let's restart the program and now when we go accept what we should start to see is a series of AIS targets being displayed on the screen. It will st gradually start to build up a picture of all the AIS targets there. Now at the moment I haven't got a Navionics chart uh, loaded up. I'll show you that in another video. So it is only showing it on the sort of fairly crude world background map. But as you can see all the AIS targets are starting to come in. Uh, one thing it has done is it's actually showing our own 
uh, AIS position uh, as a as a target, and I don't particularly want to to have that. So I'm going to go into the AIS screen, and there you go. If you untick that show own vessel as AIS target, it will just remove that, but just slightly less clutter. So your position is still shown with the uh, magenta circle, um, and all the other AIS targets are shown, but it's not showing us as an AIS target. So that's basically uh, interfacing. Um, I will show you enemy A2000 interfacing in another video, but that's all for today. Uh, I hope you found that of, of interest and can use that to set up your own system. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye.